So we've all got them and we use them every single day. And every now and again, we might change them. Now, of course, I'm not talking about toothbrushes. No, I'm talking about passwords. Use them logging into work applications, social media sites, financial websites, our own computers, and passwords are everywhere. And until technology improves it for us so that we don't have to remember it as many passwords, they're going to be around for a while. And so one of the best ways to keep track of all your passwords is with a password manager. Now, I know a lot of people are a little hesitant because they think, well, I'm putting all my eggs in one basket. But that's a pretty secure basket you're going to be putting all those passwords into. With all the data breaches that have gone on over the last 20 years, cyber criminals have been collecting up usernames, names, and email addresses, passwords from all of those data breaches and have been using them to gain access into people's accounts because they've used the same password. So it's important that we keep different passwords for all of our accounts. And by having so many different passwords, the best way to track that is with a password management database. Now, whether or not we're using a commercial one, an open source one, whenever you're comfortable. Now, even if you don't want to do that and you feel like you want to write it down, then write it down, but keep that collection of passwords safe. Don't put them all on different sticky notes. Use a dedicated book, keep that book very safe. But even then there's a risk that if you lose that book or the book gets damaged, that you're going to recreate all of your passwords as you try to gain access back in there. So using a password management program allows you to keep track of all those strong passwords. Personally, I've been using one now for pretty well the last 10 years, and I've got almost 800 entries inside that database. I keep track of it for any and all accounts that I create. Once I've got the account created, and that's going to be 16 to 25 characters long, I go through those security questions, but I store all of that in my vault. I think of all the passwords that I have in my database, I think I only know about 10 to 15% of them. All the other ones have been created by the application and stored in there. If I lose that database, I have a backup of it. I have a backup in multiple locations. So that way, in the event that something does happen, I can recover from that and keep my passwords. So basically keep some way to keep track of all your different passwords, keep them unique, keep them complex, use a password vault, keep that backed up. And in the event of a data breach, you only have to change that one password and not all the other ones that you would have created with that same password. Give yourself that extra peace of mind at night when you're sleeping, knowing that your passwords are safe and secure.